everyone welcome back to my channel I'm Jessica and today I have my update I think this is the third update for the Burstone Beauty Project Pan this is a Pantastic Ladies Collabs group project pan and I will have everyone that has joined in linked down below in my description box this is a year-long project the idea is to pick a product to correspond with each of the birthstones for the 12 months I have one empty since last update yay I am finally starting to get empties in this project and that makes me so happy this one is for October and the birthstone is opal. I chose this e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer because it has kind of like this opalescent sheen to the packaging and it is completely done. I did enjoy this. I don't know if I would purchase this again or not. I, like I said, I did enjoy it, but there are some other primers out there that I feel work a little bit better for not only my large pores, but my extremely oily skin. So. I'm not saying I won't repurchase it, but I don't know. I don't know. The jury is out on this one. I may buy it again because it, it's kind of cheap and it does work, but I might also see if they have like a matte finish one. If you guys are familiar with e.l.f. products and you know their primers, let me know if there's one that's good for oily skin, not just for the pores. Okay, now I'm only going to show you the ones that I have progress on so that it doesn't get too long because clearly I'm having a hard time with my words I, I just I can't words I can't words I couldn't do words the last few days the last few times that I filmed and today is not any better so <laughs> I'm just gonna forge ahead okay January which is garnet or rose quartz I went with the rose quartz and I chose this kind of like a rosy mauve eyeshadow from the Sephora Colorista palette it has just a little dip down here, so I am starting to get a little progress on it. Nothing amazing, but it is getting usage now. February is Amethyst, so I chose this purple eyeshadow from the Sephora Colorista palette, and I'm actually starting to get a really nice dip in this one. Really enjoying this a lot, especially for spring. Aside from my empty this month, the most impressive month for progress is June, which is Pearl, and I am working on this Elizabeth Mott Smooth Shadow in the color Pearl, and I am making amazing progress on this. I really like to put this in um, my inner corners and then put like a bright eyeshadow shade over it, and I feel like I'm doing really good on this one. I started up here at this line, and you can see my progress for the last two months when I've really started using this is doing pretty darn good. So I'm very happy with this. I don't think it will be done by the next update, but if I keep that progress up, maybe by the end of May. July is Ruby, and for that I chose yet another color from the Sephora Colorista palette. And I do have a nice dip in this one. I actually have this on my lower lash line today, and um, I'm, I'm enjoying this quite a bit. So hopefully that dip will show up and you guys can see it. This is still going to take a while. It's a red eyeshadow, which is not completely in my comfort zone, but I am enjoying this very much. So. It's still going to take a few months, I'm sure. And the last month that I have any progress on is August, which is Peridot. And I have this green eyeshadow from the Sephora Colorista palette. And again, I've got a little dip going in there. I've been using this quite a bit lately. I really actually liked this for March because, well, St. Patrick's Day and I'm Irish. And I don't know, just green of March, it, it goes together. Okay, that is all of my progress for the month of March for this Burst Down Beauty Project Pan, which again is part of the Pantastic Ladies Collabs on Facebook. I'm going to have all of those lovely ladies linked down below, so go check them out, show them some love. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and until I see you in my next video, have a beautiful day.